This is John with Performance Plus Tennis. Welcome to our video tip today. Today's discussion is about balance in tennis. And we hear the word balance repeated over and over again. She has great balance or he has great balance. But what does that really mean? What does balance in tennis really mean? And it's different than everyday balance because am I balanced right now? Well, yeah, because I'm, I'm not falling over. In tennis, the dynamic, the balance is dynamic, which means it's generally in motion. And you want to be in control at all times of where you are now so that you can always be in control of your very next move. And that's theory and it sounds all great and everything, but how do we do that? Well, simpler way to look at it is we're going to establish a great ready position with a posture of balance and control. And our objective when we're playing is to maintain that posture. It's almost like a dancer. It's almost like a uh, a dancer who has beautiful posture and they maintain that. You want to do the same thing when you're on the court at all times. And if you look at the great players today, you see that they, they maintain that balance, that posture as much as possible because they know that if they can maintain their balance and their posture, they cannot be beat. They can beat themselves, but they are not going to be beat. So they stay up, they stay balanced, they're able to generate power through rotation. And, and that balance is essential to tennis today. So it all begins with the ready position. And the ready position is so much more than your ready position, actually. It is actually your playing position. So if I'm in a ready position like this, and I'm playing a match, and I can move to a forehand and maintain my posture and maintain this movement so I can rotate into balls and I can move and keep, keep the posture, or if I'm a two-hander, I stay up and I balance and I play, the, play it and keep the balance and the posture, it's going to be tough to beat me because I'm in control. So when you get out on the court, you've got to try and keep this balance and this posture. Now, the question is, how do you do that? Well, the only way you can do that is through great footwork. If you have great footwork, you're able to move into the contact ranges and keep your posture, keep your balance, and stroke the ball. So it's essential that you have really, really good footwork, which I'm going to discuss in greater detail and my comprehensive footwork series coming out a little bit later. But right now, what I want you to think about is playing inside the cylinder. And I'm going to describe what that is to you. I do this with all of my students. I have them put their racket down, and I have them put their hands out. It's a comfortable range. And I have them just make a circle right behind their back, make a circle, and come back. And that is your cylinder. That is your cylinder of range. If your hands go outside that cylinder to get a ball, you're going to fall out of your balance. You're going to lose your, your posture. You're going to lose your balance. You're not going to generate the power and control you're seeking. So imagine that when you're playing, that everywhere you go, that cylinder is around you. That cylinder, that natural range of balance is with you. And if you stay inside that cylinder and play your contacts, no matter where you go, you stay inside that cylinder, you stay inside that cylinder, and don't reach, 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 whatever that is, all those things, you're going to have power and control. So in summary, the takeaway is balance is dynamic, and it means that you're always in control of where you are now, and you're always in control of what you do next. And play inside your imaginary cylinder, take that with you everywhere you go on the court, and you'll start to find you have much greater control of all of your shots. Give that a try. Have a great time on the courts, and we'll see you soon.